<laughs> oh my gosh of course one of the first things that catch your eye hey guys and welcome back to the channel if you guys are new to the channel i am sending steve we got jpm tech here we're actually going to the junkyard today so it is a little bit of windy um definitely follow josh real quick you'll see him in a lot of the video today jpm tech as you've seen on the screen here but we need to get some parts for this thing so as you guys do know i am missing some panels on this um i do actually have this panel i need a stock radio for it i need some of the cosmetic pieces over there on that door handle this uh door handle in the back over here is actually in pretty bad shape missing definitely everything there's some pieces over here missing and today is the perfect day the sun is shining let's jump in the f450 and head to the junkyard and see what we can get for the avalanche here the other thing i want to see if i can get is a tailgate sorry josh is in my way i want to see if we can find a tailgate for this thing because i need a functioning tailgate i cannot have a small bed for one and not be able to use it so let's jump in the f450 and uh see what we can see probably already looks like we're out of junkyard but it's just a residence all right let's get out of here every day you see a hurricane out in the streets yeah, not in Harrisburg. Unless you're like Street Speed 717, then you see them all the time. All right, off to the junkyard. All right, so we got to read the rules and regulations to go into here. This place is huge. <laughs> oh my gosh, of course, one of the first things that catch your eye is this Ford frame just completely rotted in half. I don't know if it's rot. Yeah, it's rotted. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah, right there. Yep. Look at that. I'm not sure how well you guys can see. It. There oh. you go. Wow. That is insane. Imagine that thing rolling down the highway and then that happens. That is crazy. All right. Well, we're looking for parts, obviously, for the avalanche because we're trying to make that build as nice as possible. So we've got a lot to look around in here. So stand by. I'll pick back up when it gets to important parts to all my eagles fans out there their van pretty much ends up like your season this year oh all right now hear me out this is like a bridge of some sort or i don't actually have any idea what but i mean this is the type of stuff that intrigues me because there's so much use but really there's no use I want that because you could actually cut that up and actually make like rear bumpers for your cars or front bumpers. Like it's enough steel here that you could make something out of this and it's actually kind of cool. Or you could just make a ramp, a dirt bike ramp. I'm going to offer him some money for this thing. See if we can't take this thing home. I don't really think there is. So in case the Eagles weren't your team, you could probably pick the Zebras it's kind of nifty that somebody like cut an intake right in the hood there that is pretty cool it is kind of cool like i wanted to i kind of want to know what this thing actually looked like prior to coming in here they put the mass air right on top of the <laughs> yeah intake. they flipped the mass air upside down which I've, i'm sure you guys caught that previous in that video but that's kind of cool and this thing's definitely been through mud because it is just packed full of mud inside and out the seat belts are covered in mud so this was a tough truck or some sort of something and probably a midget too because there's freaking wood extensions over here <laughs> yeah oh. <laughs> so if anybody knows where this thing came from let me know it has to be some kind of tough truck because it's just covered in mud yeah. nifty this is like one of the cool things here if i can buy this entire frame I think we're going to do it. Now, I wrote down the number. We're going to see if we can't get the frame because this is the exact frame that my blue Corvette is actually sitting on. So it would have the I-beams in the front. And obviously, you know, I have the other parts in that. So we could probably make something cool out of this if they will sell the entire thing. So I'm definitely going to run up there and talk to them. But that Bronco frame would be freaking cool because I literally have the same thing. Like, it would literally just lift the Corvette off, lay it back down, and you'd be good to go. So we're definitely going to talk to him about that when we get up top there. Of course, JPM Tech would see the little taco sitting here. You need an e-brake. <laughs> yeah, you need an e-brake. I see an e-brake here. Oh, they cut it. Uh, they cut it, yep. And there's a mechanism that sits right here. Yeah. Unbelievable. 
We're gonna get you an e-brake too. So one thing we noticed is anything that is an HD or a 6.0, the engine and trans have already been removed. So we're thinking that maybe the engine and transmissions get removed somewhere else and then the truck itself comes over here because every 6.0 or HD that you see has no engine, no trans. So that's kind of weird. Oh, look at a little Jeep down there. That's kind of nifty. Anybody need a bucket? Ain't that what they call them? A bucket for a Jeep? Doesn't look like it's in terrible shape. Engine's even in the on top of it. Alrighty then. I can't tell if I don't remember if mine is blue or black, but these should work. All leather too. Yeah, look at that. Oh yes. Good eye, Josh. Good eye. Oh, that, that seat's seat messed up. The driver's, driver's seat's beat up. Wonder what they'd want for a full leather. I don't know. That Maybe could be our radio. Came in. That could be our good radio up there. Well, we found an avalanche. Good eye, Josh. Yes, Let's see if the tailgate, because the tailgate is honestly not there. Same thing. Same thing as mine. The handle's all jacked up. Oh, but this one does actually work. Mine does not work and does not have any of the controls up here. So worst case, we might get this. And then we'll at least just need a handle. All right, let's mark this and uh, we'll keep looking here. So this has a good trunk, but not... Man, I kind of like them leathers. Not the handle. The handle kind of works on it. Yours doesn't work at all. That's what they did. They took the rear end out of it. I called that. There you go. 14 mil looks yeah, like. I don't have a fucking socket on me. I'll have to go back up there and check time. The time is what I really need. Oh, I need a radio. We keep forgetting I need a radio. Oh, yeah. They got, Down there, yeah, you see motorcycles. They got tractors, jet skis. There's a few boats back there. So this place actually has it all. I'll uh, have to try to re remember to get you the name of it here. But like there's a, uh, like a scooter frame place is pretty insane to say the least all right let's go see what we got and uh, see some prices here so i did happen to find an hd hood that i'm going to ask about and then i also found that tailgate that works but not really perfect so let's just see what they want for those and uh worst case we got all our other parts we got our door trim pieces and everything in my hoodie here so let's just uh see what we can get and get out of here Alrighty, well, we ended up scoring all the little door trim pieces, and I actually got an HD hood for this thing, and it was super cheap. Now, it does have a little bit of rust, so I will have to do a little bit of body work to it, but I got everything for $31.50. Pretty, pretty good deal, I can't lie. Now, it is a little bit of a drive. Um, it was about an hour and a half away, but once we get back to the house, I'll get the name and everything for you, because I believe it's on the receipts, but uh, I'm excited. So let's get home get this thing on the uh, avalanche here and uh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Yeah, it's gonna look cool. Yeah, definitely. All right guys, we'll pick back up at the house. This time we went out to the truck and we saw the hood and we wanted to go back. We ended up spending $10.50 for all these pieces here. Now the hood, like I said, I went back out and I wanted to see how much the hood would have been. And since it did have that little bit of rust on it, we were able to get it for $21. So I'm excited about that. Let's go ahead and get the hood and everything swapped over and uh, see how this HD hood looks on here. Probably wondering why I wanted to get a different hood anyway. And uh, the latch area here is actually like pretty rusty on 
the uh, the hood that we got here. So that's kind of why I was looking for a different hood solution. Not sure how well you guys can see that. For some reason, the GoPro is not. There you go, kind of. But yeah, so let's get the HD hood out of the truck and uh, JPM texting to help me hook it up. <laughs> <laughs> so the, one of the reasons Josh went with today is he's actually looking for a drivetrain for his 64 project that he's doing. So you're definitely going to, want to check Josh out for that. There's my knife. I forgot I left this under here the other day. I was looking for that one. I had to go ahead and carry a different knife today. What is that? That hose that blew on my face. Oh. Yeah. All right, let me get the hood out and let's get it taken off. I'm gonna assume that you guys already understand which direction we are gonna take this, but as you can tell, we've got the HD hood on the Avalanche here. I'm not gonna close it yet. I'm gonna wait, because I don't wanna give you guys any kind of like intuition as to what we're doing here. But I think some of you guys will be able to fill in the blank. So there you guys have it. This was actually a fun video. It's kind of nice to be able to get out of the house and do some things. Um, this was the rust I was talking about. It does have a little bit of rust on here. We'll be able to just sand that flush, put some uh, filler in there and uh, everything will be okay. But everything else underneath the hood actually looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Kind of hard to see. It does have some service rust and things, but it's not terrible compared to the last one. If any ideas of what we're gonna do, drop your comments down below. But this is where we're gonna leave it. Hope you like the content. Deuces. Josh and I are cold. We're going to go warm up. Take care, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Well, I decided I can't not show you guys, but with the Anthem wheels, I mean, rough country lift and this HD hood, this thing is going to look killer. Now, as you guys do know, we do have a little bit of body work here to do. Um, it's not crazy. It's just kind of like flaking. It is kind of, you know, it's definitely starting to rust a little bit but it's definitely rusting in a better spot than where ours was um same with the nose there is a little bit of bubble rusting starting to happen here not a big deal we'll be able to sand all that out and i actually think i can handle this myself i don't think we need anybody crazy plus i do believe we are going to wrap this thing so it's not crazy at all so there you guys have it i mean we've got the hd hood on and in upcoming videos you'll see the difference that this thing is about to make so again guys there you have it if you like the content please smash that like button please subscribe and i will see you guys in an upcoming video which we should have another one tomorrow and then uh, we'll kind of see what happens we might jump back on the c4 at that point but there you guys have it if you like the content again smash that like button please subscribe and i will see you in an upcoming video